Hey, what's up? This is Nogi from Guardian Tales Guides, and we're going to go over Basic versus Garum. And oddly enough, I, I think this fight is actually kind of cool. It's super simple, but this is actually becoming our bottleneck for this raid. So it's probably something that you may have to check out. Um, but either way, it's an all basic team. Um, it's way easier than the Coco variant without Future Knight. Um, but let's check it out, right? So Male Knight's going to do a little bit more damage than Nari. So we've stacked Male Knight up as much as possible. Um, Future Knight's going to do all this, especially. And now with that special buff that Future Knight has, um, it's actually worthwhile to put special or skill damage cards on Future Knight. So you're going to see how simple this is. The cooldowns almost line up perfectly. You're going to bring everybody down to 0.3 on their chains and we're just going to stay down to the bottom because when Garam does his little slash thing he gets behind you but if your back is to the wall he can't do that so he just doesn't attack you so let's check it out so for things first just start to auto attack and move backwards and then when you first cool down use your little skill thing watch this all right cool so that's taken care of. And then now we just go a little bit towards the middle. And then as soon as you get that, just keep going. I just bring everything down to point two. So you're going to have him do the special thing. Cool. You actually got us a little bit on that one. Not the worst thing in the world, but it's going to cost us a special. There you go, 27.6. That's not too bad. What are we at, seven, level 78? Yeah. And we made a little mistake, so we could have definitely gotten 28 out of that. Yeah, let's go again. I mean, it's pretty simple. The only thing you have, the only real mistake that you can potentially make is just not getting a full chain off, which we did in the last one, but it doesn't really matter damage wise. So we just bring it all the way down. Kinda's gonna stop the chain. And then now we're gonna stick up. This is the one potential mistake here. We're gonna stick up, take this. See, still got us. Because <laughs> we're at 66, we'll get the chain off on the next one. But see, it doesn't really matter because we're not gonna get more than that. We're still gonna get our damage in. We're only gonna get two chains this fight, so. I mean, that's probably within 100k of the previous one, right? So, pretty consistent. You know, just like when you know he can do the slash thing, you go down to the bottom to stop him from actually slashing you. And then otherwise, you just special away. And just the timings, the timing and everything just makes it so it's super easy. Come back out to the middle. Kinda should break the chain. There we are. And then that's pretty much the fight. Not too hard, huh? 
Now the one cool thing and not so cool thing is your damage is so consistent with this team. You're always going to come out really close to where you're supposed to be on this fight. So it's kind of cool, consistent damage, but not so cool because you don't, you're not super excited to get that like crazy, oh shit, I just got 29 million kind of thing. It doesn't work that much. You know, there's no, like since your main guy's doing like little bit damage, like ding, 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 rather than like one huge chain lighting thing that just lit him up, lights him up for a crit. Like, you just don't get those crazy crit streaks, or like, I mean, like, you're going to get a certain amount of crits with this weapon, but, like, when Garam does a hit for, you know, 1 million damage, but crits on it and gets 4 million damage, then you see the damage spike, like, heavy, heavy, like, like when you see in the other fights, but we're just not going to get that with this, just because of the way, the nature of the, the weapons that we're using. But either way, I mean, that's pretty much the fight, there's nothing to it, um, you've got this, and uh, that's it's pretty easy. But like I said, this is becoming the bottleneck in our raid. Um, it isn't as much damage at all to, let's say, um, uh, what, Ancient, well, I guess Ancient Demon. Well, all of them, really. I, I haven't even done Demon this raid yet. But I did it, um, did the other ones, and this is, a little lower and a few million lower than the other two, right? So, um, what's the other two? What are the other two on this raid? Hold on, I'm going to have to actually click this because I forgot. Um, yeah, Mad Panda and uh, Arena. You do really good damage with the, the right teams on that. So, and I'm assuming Demon probably as well. So this is fine damage. It's just not I like best of the best, but it does take Nari away which makes Nari unusable on Minotaur. Oh, I'm sorry, Minotaur, Demon. Um, and then unusable on Ranged Fire, which I don't know how many people are actually using. But So this one becomes kind of a weird one. But either way, it's super easy. I'm going to be doing this one all raid just because it seems like the bottleneck, and typically I do that more than anything. So either way, have a good raid. Good luck. Score lots of damages. Oh, and uh, yeah, the whole subscribe, thumbs up, yada, yada, yada. Oh, and if you're on NA2 and you're a badass, we are totally recruiting. Loki, let's go. Join the Discord. Adios.